What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. We are back here for the ultimate gaming house and uh, we've got two more bedrooms to go. So we started with the COD room here, which I feel like worked out pretty well. We've got our Fortnite room, which has its own land set up in there, which looks pretty nice. And now we finally decided, based on some of your guys' feedback, one of these last two rooms is gonna be the GTA room. And then we are gonna have the Rainbow Six room. So I was trying to figure out what to do with this last room. I was thinking like, you know, Spider-Man or Red Dead or something like that. But honestly, I feel like Rainbow Six is a, uh, a really good look. I feel like that's gonna be a, a cool idea for a room. But uh, for now, we are gonna start off over here. And this is gonna be the GTA room. Now, uh, what do we wanna do for the walls is the question for the paint and stuff. I'm honestly not sure. I feel like there's no like, true GTA color, you know what I mean? Like, the, it really could be anything. There's not like a, a specific theme to it. So, we might wanna go just for kind of more of a, a basic wall. Maybe something like a sand almond. I think I'm gonna go with that. So we'll see. Let me see how this looks real quick. All right, not looking too bad so far. I like it. Now, uh, what are we gonna do with the floors? We don't wanna just leave it blue. Honestly, this is kind of tough because like I said, I feel like there's not really like a GTA theme color that I could think of. We could just do like, you know, hardwood floors. I feel like some some white floor panels might look nice, kind of brighten up the room a little bit, especially once we get some lights up there. How does that look? Yeah, that's that's not bad. I could see that, see that being a GTA look. All right, now we need some ceiling lamps. So we're gonna go up, we're gonna go to lamps, ceiling lamps. And what do we want to roll with here? I feel like we should make it kind of modern just because like a lot of our uh, a lot of our, our warehouses and offices and all that kind of stuff are modern in GTA. So we're gonna, I think we do three of these. One, two, three. I think we're gonna have to move this little, this middle one a little bit. Move it down a tiny bit. Move this one down a little bit this way as well. Turn the lights on. Yeah, I feel like that looks pretty nice. All right. Looks good to me. So, we've got all that. Now, uh, what are we gonna do for furniture? Obviously, we're trying to make this like a, a gaming themed house, but actually have it be useful. Like, we actually want this to be a bedroom, so we're gonna go for furniture, beds. What kind of bed here would be a GTA bed? I don't know, this, I have good images for this room for like the paintings and stuff, but I feel like it's really, I feel like it's really hard to, to find a good bed. I feel like it's hard to find something that really like fits GTA, you know what I mean? I'm gonna put this under the window right there. All right, so we've got that. Uh, we definitely need some nightstand. Bedside table right here, all right. I'm gonna go with a, uh, with a gray. Is that gonna fit in there? Shoot. It'll fit sideways though, all right. We're just, we're gonna pretend like this doesn't actually have the, uh, the drawer in it. So we're gonna buy another one. We're gonna flip it around. All right, not looking too bad so far. We could get like a, like a little night lamp, make it a black one, buy it now. Put these on each side of the bed. All right, looks good. Turn these things on, not too bad. So we've got that. Um, probably get a, a TV. Maybe get like a little TV cabinet here so you could put your clothes in one end, but then we're gonna have a, uh, a, a TV sitting on it that faces the bed. I feel like that's kind of cool right at the foot of your bed All right kind of splits the room up a little bit. I guess so we've got that and then um, Maybe like a little little desk over in this corner. We could do something like that I just felt like this bed was a little bit too far from the wall to make sense of hanging a TV It'd be a little bit too far away. I guess I'd be nervous. I'd kick this off, but uh, I Don't I don't think it's too bad. All right, so then we've uh we want to go for a little desk, some furniture, desk. Definitely want a small desk here. Don't really have all that much space. So I'm going to go with something like this. Let's keep it dark and light. Go ahead and buy it. Yeah, that's that's going to be the perfect size, dude. So we've got that there. And then get a little, uh, get like a little, little swivel chair maybe. Darken it out. All right, looks good to me. So we've got a little desk over there. Maybe put a, uh, maybe put like a little fern or something. How big is this? That's huge. Let me put that in the corner. 
We need something a little bit smaller. If we're gonna be putting it on the table, maybe one of these things. Go ahead and buy this now. Oh, that's still way too big. All right, I need something small. I know the fern's small, but I feel like we put the fern everywhere, but I guess we're just gonna go with the fern. All right, buy the fern, put it on there. Okay, so that's our little bedroom. It's a little bit laggy in here because I think we have so many lights on between like the bedside tables and, and all kinds of stuff like that. But uh, that looks good. Now we're going to put some uh, some images and, and posters and stuff on the wall. So I've actually got some pretty good ones here. So we're going to go into what we've got. This one I found I really liked. You guys know the chick that's like on the cover and the loading screens and stuff like that. We've got her animated doing her selfie or whatever. And then we've got Trevor Michael and Franklin in the background. So I feel like this one's pretty sick. I really like it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a big painting of this. It's a little bit too big. Might want to reduce the size just a little bit, but I I do feel like that's that's pretty dope. So we're gonna put that one up there. That dude, I I want that on my wall. Like I feel like that's a really really cool little drawing. Credit to uh, CartoonWars.pl. I'm not sure. Oh wait, no. Who's who's the artist? Otis in 2013. I like that Otis. You're the man. All right, so we've got that. I've also got a nice, uh, a nice photo of Trevor after he burned down that house. I feel like this, this is a pretty fitting one for maybe above the door. All right, looks good. We've got. Uh, I, I wanted to go not just GTA 5, but all GTAs. So we've got Mr. Tommy Versetti here, which is kind of cool. I feel like we could put this on the wall over here. We've got, uh, what else do we have? We've got Nico! What's up, bro? You try to go bowling? Where do we want to put him? This is kind of a big photo. I feel like somewhere right here would be good, but for some reason it's not taking it. Hold on. Make this a little bit smaller. All right, it's your cousin Roman. You try to go bowling. So we've got that. What else do we have here? We've got another cartoon animated one of Michael, Franklin, and Trevor, which I thought was pretty cool. So we could put this one on the wall over here. Obviously, GTA 5 is, is the biggest, newest, most exciting GTA, so we kind of focused on that. We've got San Andreas, which is probably one of my favorite GTAs ever out here on the block, Grove Street. Gotta hold it down. So I think I'm gonna put this... I feel like if we move this back a little bit... Boom! Look at that. Yo, that, that's pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. I actually really do like that. That would be cool to have on a wall as well. Throwback. Especially if you could get it in like a nice like cartoon drawing or like 4K or something like that. And then I also had a map of, uh, of GTA 5. I don't... The game may not like this because it was a huge image. I probably just made a mistake, but no, it looks it looks like it's all right. I don't know that we really have any other room for an image anyway, though, so I, I think we're good. I think we I think we can forget this. All right, cool. So yeah, we're not gonna do that. So yeah, there you guys go. We've got some uh, some nice memories from GTA all over the place, and uh, this is our little this is our little GTA room, dude. I feel like this could probably move over one. A little bit more centered, maybe move this one over one as well. But, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Our GTA room, holy cow, there are so many lights in here. Let's turn these off to help with the lag a little bit. Sorry about that, boys. But that, my friends, is our GTA room. Pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. And finally, we have our Rainbow Six room. Holy cow, there's that FPS I'm looking for. Not in a room full of paint. I think the paintings kind of slow down the game a little bit, too. So I'm sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, it's not killing the episode too much for you all. Now, uh, for here... I kind of wanted to go with black, dude. Rainbow is all about being stealthy, about sneaking around, about being smart and stuff like that. So we are going to go with black walls, which we have never done before in this game. So this should be interesting. We'll see how it turns out, but we're going to make this a very stealthy, kind of scary room. So something kind of interesting is it looks like... The black paint never runs out. That's a nice little uh, little Easter egg, little glitch for you, I guess. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's we've been filling up this paintbrush the entire time, and it's just not going anywhere. All right, so we've got our black room here, which is is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. What do we want to do with the floor? We're gonna go into the floor here. I feel like we kind of want to stick with the same thing, like a darker a darker type of mood. I feel like this is kind of a cool carpet for the room. 
we'll, we'll put that down for now and see see what we think. All right, so what do we want to do for panels and coverings, floor tiles? Hmm. This could be kind of cool. Hold on, let me just see what this looks like. Um, I don't like it. I'm just gonna go with the white wood again. I feel like the white the white wood looks nice. All right, boom, we got it. So we have the dark room with the white wood. That actually looks pretty good. I wish we could paint the ceiling, dude. But uh, anyway, what else are we gonna go with in here? Obviously, again, we've got to start with the uh, with the furniture, with the beds. This is gonna be a bedroom, of course. So I'm looking, maybe just like a double or mess. See what this looks like. What says rainbow to you guys? I'm trying to stick with that that dark. Ooh, the warmy bed is kind of cool, but rainbow isn't necessarily warm. I don't know. Well, I feel like this is a good look for the room, though. Just with the grays and the, the dark colors and stuff. That is a big freaking bed. All right, so we're going to throw that down. We're not really going to have a lot of room for stuff in this room, apart from sleeping. We've got that. I guess we don't really have space for a TV anywhere else. So we're going to put a hanging TV on the wall because you got to be able to play your rainbow when you're in the room. Go ahead and turn that on. All right. Uh, nightstands. I guess we're just going to... We don't really have many options for nightstands. So we're going to go with the Hermes. Should we go with the white or should we go with the gray? I feel like we should go with the gray. At least this time we're going to be able to actually use the... Uh, use the drawer on it. Go ahead and throw this like that. All right, looks good to me. Not bad. All right, I, I think we're ready. This is gonna be a pretty simple room, but we've got some more cool images we're gonna use. I just took some of my favorite operators and maps and took images of those. So uh, let's let's start off with Ash, man. Here we go. So we've got a, a photo of Ash. We could put this on the wall right there. That looks pretty good. Um, and then I'm thinking we could do maybe like Twitch over on this side. That's a little bit too big, so we're gonna have to make that just a tiny bit smaller. No big deal. All right, so we've got, actually, you know what? We could put them, what if we put them under each other? I feel like that could be kind of cool. So we've got Ash and Twitch over here, and then we could do the maps over on this side. We've got House, obviously a really good one. We could put House there, as well as uh, Oregon. I feel like this one was kind of cool because it was long. So we could maybe put this up above the TV. So we've got Oregon up there. Then we could do uh, plane. Who doesn't like plane, man? Looks like this is kind of a long one too. We could put plane over here. All right, not looking too bad. However, we've got one big wall left. And <laughs> oh man. So I Google image searched for Cav. A picture of Cav came up, but uh, one of the related pictures was even better. So we're gonna go with that related picture here and uh, I didn't have it added in yet because I didn't want to spoil it for you guys. We're gonna go to the desktop. We've got this. <laughs> Bro, what the fudge is this? What kind of weird stuff are you guys into? What kind of weird stuff are rainbow people into? Why, why is this a thing? Bro, that is so thick are you kidding me and you know what it's it's not really wide enough so we're we're gonna put three of them bro just back to back to back i feel like that could be kind of cool like one of those split things actually no it's not gonna work because there's only room for two all right we're gonna do two then so every day we're gonna wake up and we're gonna look at that like bro what that's not physically possible what <laughs> all right anyway there you guys have it that is our rainbow room. So yeah, we've got our COD room, we've got our Fortnite room, we've got our GTA room, and then of course, we've got our thick, I mean, our, our rainbow room. So uh, I feel like these turned out pretty well. The upstairs is looking pretty good, but we've gotta get on to the kitchen. So starting off, I think our first thing is gonna be to open this up a little bit. We have the bathroom here, and then we've got another extra little room here. I just feel like this room is not necessary. We've got an office over here, which we can keep, but I just, I feel like, I feel like the bathroom should go here, and this room should be a part of the open area. So that's, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Also, do you guys notice what I just did there? Open area, like the rainbow call out. Oh yeah, baby. All right, anyway, we're gonna take down this this bathroom here. We're gonna move it to the room next to it. And then uh, we should be able to open up the living room a little bit. 
Bam! There we have it, guys. And so, uh, you all can see we took out this bathroom, made the floor match, painted the walls, put a bunch of lights up. Now this kind of, like, open kitchen living room area looks pretty nice. We've got our office over here, which we also painted the walls to match, and we've got our bathroom over in this corner, which we still need to do some installations. But, uh, this is looking pretty nice, and I, I think we're just gonna kind of go with, like, a a simple area here. I mean, obviously the main focus of this this house was to do the upstairs bedrooms and make them all gaming themed and stuff. So I think we're gonna go pretty simple down here. So in the, the office here, let's see what we got going on for desks. Um, where do we see desks? Hold on, we need uh, furniture, desks. All right, so we've got desks here. What do we wanna do? I feel like we need, we could do a classic corner desk here. We could make it kind of like a, I don't know what color we want to go for though. Do we want like a traditional wood color? I'm not sure. I'm not against it. All right. So we've got this. It's a little, little, little glitchy. I restarted the game. I think it's just because we have so many things in this house, dude. Like there's so many paintings on the wall and everything else. It just kind of overloads it a little bit sometimes. But yeah, we've got a desk here. We could do a, uh, a nice little chair at the desk. I'm gonna say, what kind of chair do we want? I guess just a typical office chair. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and buy this. Yeah, dude, it's, it's, getting, it's getting pretty laggy. All right, so we've got that. Uh, what about a computer monitor? Let's do an HD monitor just because it's ridiculous. Look at the size of this monitor, dude. Are you serious right now? Biggest monitor I've ever seen. All right, so we've got that there. I think we could do like a little like I said, I'm not really too worried about the downstairs here, so I'm just I'm just gonna put random stuff in. We could do a little plant in the corner. What else do you have in an office, to be honest? I'm not even sure. Uh, furniture. Oh, you know what? We could we could do like a little a little reading corner. So we're gonna do a poof. Let's make it orange. We're gonna do a little reading corner over here in the corner. We've got that, and then uh, can we do? Do just like a little book. Book of Rare Plants, Book of Secrets, Book of Psychology. Sounds kind of cool. So we're gonna put this, put this over in the corner. That's our little reading corner. And uh, I feel like, I feel like that's not bad. Kind of a basic office. Let's turn the light on. But hey, sometimes that's all you need. Dude, this is getting so, so freaking laggy. It's better when we get in this room. All right, anyway, now we've got the bathroom, so since it's like a guest bathroom, I don't think we really have to worry about, you know, a shower or anything like that. So we're going to go to installations. We're going to do a toilet. And uh, you know what? Let's, let's do, let's do two toilets, bro. Actually, we've, we've got to, we got to keep them separate. So I'm going to put a sink plumbing system in the wall. I'm going to put it like right there. So we're gonna do this. Dude, this game hates me so much right now. We just put, I, I think that the picture system just is a little bit flawed. Cause it, it slows everything down like crazy. But yeah, we're gonna put, we're gonna put that there. And then we're gonna put a toilet on each side, yo. Some people have like two dishwashers. Some people have, you know, two ovens. Some people might even have a couple of sinks in their kitchen, but you ain't really ballin' unless you've got two mountable standard toilets in your bathroom, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's real, that's real wealth right there. That's what we like to see. So we got one toilet there. We're gonna have a second toilet here. Dude, the toilets are so easy to put together in this game. I love it. Second toilet there. And then we're gonna go with the sink. So we're gonna go with the bathroom prismat right here, put it right in between. And we're gonna put this bad boy together. The sinks are a little bit more difficult than the uh, than the toilets, but not by too much. Just a little bit more involved, I guess you could say. Put those each on, put that in, put that in, and we are all, all good to go. All right, so we've got that. I guess we're gonna have to have a, uh, a mirror, so we could put a mirror right in front of the sink like we always do. Do we need more bathroom vanity items? We really do. I think they're they're coming soon. Looking for sconce. There we go. Double bathroom sconce. Gonna buy one of these. Looks good, baby. Look at that. That's all you need. Actually, you know what? There is a little bit more you need. We need some toilet paper. So we're gonna buy many of these. Should we just line it up? Line it up on the side here. Never want to be without, bro. You got to have a couple of extras for the guests. You know what I mean? Just, just so they don't get any sticky situations in here. So, 
We're gonna give three to each. And now you can poop in tandem. That's pretty awesome. All right, so we've got that. Then over here, obviously, we're gonna have a living room kitchen combo. I'm gonna say this is gonna be the dining room. I kind of like the idea of being able to like eat and chill out at the table and be able to see out into the backyard and stuff. So we're gonna take a, uh, a classic dining table. I don't even really know what we're going for here, dude. I don't know our theme, but we're, we're just, we're gonna go for it and we're gonna like it. All right, so we've got that. We could do some chairs. Could do some flower chairs. Why not, dude? Whatever. I like it. That actually doesn't doesn't look too bad. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. All right. I think part of our problem actually might be all of these lights. Hold on. Okay, I deleted all the lights, and that is that is a little bit better, I think. Um, I don't know. Like I said, we just have so, so much going on in this this house. We don't really We can't it's hard to add more because I think we're just kind of like overloading what's happening in here But anyway, let's see what we've got going on. So for kitchens I know there's a really huge pre-made kitchen set that you can use like this I think is enormous So let's try this in the the dark walnut or the white. Oh that look honestly the white accents on that look kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Or should we go white here and dark on the accents? I feel like that's kind of cool too. All right, so we're going to buy this. A massive pre-made kitchen that we can't put anywhere because we have windows everywhere. So you know what? We could, we could just kind of set it up like this. This is kind of cool. We've never used this thing before. So I'm going to set it all the way up against this wall. Looks good. We've got our kitchen here which means this is gonna be our living room. So we need to find some sort of a couch, furniture, sofas, um, elegant leather sofa. I'm down to go for the, the brown. Everybody's down for the brown, right? All right, so we've, we've got the brown sofa there. Um, could probably do like another little sofa next to it or like an armchair or something. I don't know if we're gonna be able to be able to find the same color though is the problem. This is kind of a cool armchair. We've got kind of a brown here. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a little L couch situation. Not the same color. It's more of an orangey brown, but that you know, like like I said, I'm, I'm not worried about the downstairs. This is turning into a disaster real real quick. All right, so we're gonna go for a, a TV stand, TV cabinet, Vera, uh, TV stand, Anna. We've got this. All right. Which way does it go? It goes like that. So we're gonna center this with the uh, with the window. We're gonna grab a TV and throw it on there. Just like that. Go ahead and turn it on. Is that it, boys? Is that what we've got? I mean, we've, we've got the essentials downstairs to be able to sell it. Like I said, I just, I mainly wanted to, to do the video game rooms upstairs. I kinda wanted to mess with the paintings and stuff. So, say goodbye, COD, Fortnite, GTA, Rainbow, and then we've got our, our video game bathroom up here. Downstairs, we've got uh, our makeshift kitchen, which does not match anything else. We've got light tan and black. We've got brown, an oranger shade of brown, a different shade of brown on the TV hutch as well as the TV, and then black and white on the dining room table. This is one of the ugliest downstairs we've ever had. Ugliest like kitchen living room areas, but uh, I'm all right with it, dude. I'm, I'm gonna call that a wrap. I'm just curious to see what people are gonna pay for because it's video games, baby. All right, anyway, so we bought the house for $280,000. I'm not sure how much money we put into it. I, I think the 407 is what we have left. Yeah, that's what we have left. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure what, what, what we put into it, but I know it was pretty significant. So we'll see what happens. If we end up selling it for around 600, I'm gonna be really happy. I want this thing to make us a millionaire. I don't think it's going to. We're starting around 400. It's gonna have to go up pretty, pretty quickly. A house is so much prettier with pictures inside, she says. Oh man, if only you knew, lady. The Jantart family. All right, looks like we're about to break 400 on the sale. People really like all the pictures. They like the gaming rooms upstairs. 
427, high class, TV in the bedroom, no private space, only for myself. So he wanted it 437. Let's negotiate this bad boy. I don't think we're gonna be able to add that much to it. Oh, here's here's our total. So our renovation cost was 346. Furniture bought pretty much all of our paintings, 13,000. That's crazy. So we have 156,000 profit right now. I'm gonna add an extra 24 to that. We'll see if he's see if he's a sucker. All right, let's go, boys. So we made 181,000 on this house. And I'm going to call that a win, baby. Let's go. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Honestly, I think, I think I'm going to wait till the next big update on this game. I, I think we're going to get new bathroom stuff fairly soon, as well as we do have that Garden Flipper DLC coming out. But like I said before, I don't want it to get too repetitive. Like, it was funny putting Chelsea's butt in there and messed around with the paintings and stuff, but I don't want it to get too repetitive. So... Once we get more DLC, I'll be sure to uh, to see you guys again on this, this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.